Uh, well, I was playing at USC, and uh, one of my coaches was going to have the job of uh, training the, the actors how to play, but uh, he had gotten hired by the Baltimore Orioles, so he called me out of the blue, asked me if I wanted to work on a film. I was thinking uh, I was living in California. I was just going to commute to Hollywood every day, and it turned out uh, he called me back about two weeks later and said they were sending me a ticket so I could fly to Iowa. Um, and after that, uh, just ran practices with the uh, actors, trying to get them to at least look the part of baseball players. Uh, Ray Liotta uh, put in a lot of time swinging the bat. He had to uh, go from a person that really never played baseball to the third best hitter in baseball history. And he, uh, he and a lot of those other guys looked like they knew what they were doing out there. Yeah, well, like I said, we, we had uh, three weeks of practices uh, before we even got onto the field. So uh, one of the difficult aspects was uh, them learning how to catch with those old-fashioned gloves that didn't have any webbing. Um, so that, that was a challenge. Um, and so, yeah, I, I was happy with the way they got out there and played. I've tried to catch with those. That's almost like catching barehanded. Yeah, it is. And uh, for a while, they, they had to put a little extra padding in there as well because uh, uh, not having been used to it, uh, it was stinging their hands a bit. But uh, as, as you see in some of those scenes, Ray Liotta goes over and makes some nice catches with that old-fashioned glove. How long were you and I able to shoot that? Uh, we were there, well, for the baseball aspects, we were there for about eight weeks. Um, three practicing and then uh, five doing uh, the actual shots for the movie. And I've seen where some of the shooting hours for that were for most of us a little unusual. Right, when you, when you do nighttime scenes, it, it takes, for any scene, it takes a, a really long time. If there's two people just having a conversation, they have to set up all the lights to zero in on the one person while they're going through all their lines and if they want a close-up and then a semi-close-up. They have to rearrange the lights, and they need the reaction shots, and then they need two shots. So uh, something that might take 30 seconds on camera might take two hours to film. So whenever there were night scenes, you got there at 6 in the evening and shot until 6 in the morning. It looks like a couple of times they got really lucky with some fog in the background, too, that really made a couple of the shots. Well, actually, that was a, there was a truck that drove uh, behind the cornfield and had a smoke machine. Um, the where we got lucky is uh, in some of those lightning scenes, there was actually a really big storm that came through, and they got the shots prior. We actually had to shoot, uh, shut down production that night, um, and shuttling back to the uh, hotels, we had to pull over because there was so much rain. Um, it was quite a storm, but uh, it made for some nice lightning shots that they were able to use. And you do appear in the final cut in the film in a couple of places, I've noticed. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm in some of the background scenes. Uh, some of the actors wanted me to get more involved, but since I had to fill in for uh, possibly a couple of the actors, uh, if I had filled in for one and then kind of seen in a different uniform, they thought that would kind of hurt the continuity. So uh, they've got me in the background shots. Uh, probably the best is when I'm at second base when... Uh, James Earl Jones is uh, saying his famous, so they will come Ray speech. And it looks like in the background right before that, uh, that might be you drawing a walk and hitting a first base. Yeah, that is me. I always joke with my son because uh, in that scene I draw a walk and I'm at first base. And then by the time James Earl Jones starts saying his speech, I'm at second, so I always told him I steal. And then when the little girl falls off the back of the bleachers, I'm at third base. So I, okay. I always say, well, no one called time, so I just kept running. Uh, are you in contact with anybody around the movie these days? Every now and then I'll, I'll, I'll talk to Ray Liotta. Um, you know, he's, he's been involved. Uh, he did uh, some special anniversary things uh, with the All-Star Game a few years back um, on some of the, the, the great players of, of the first century, um, and, and that was because of uh, his role in Shoeless Joe. The phone rang to do something like that again, would you go? Oh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, you know, a lot of times uh, the actors really get into character, but since it was a baseball movie, they kind of had to be in that role of being teammates and hanging out. And so we had some late-night poker games and things like that. So it was, it was a lot of blast.